Hello, I'm back. I took a little bit of videos from when I went home this past weekend. We went to a Panthers game with my family and had a blast. It was really nice to catch up with people. I was a little tired. I'm not, I'm very well rested. But I just drove into Charleston because I had a dentist appointment, which I messed up the timing for. I'm actually gonna come back to town tomorrow for it. And I am gonna still go get my hair done today. But I told her I didn't wanna get color today. I just wanted to get a wash and a trim because I have my next appointment booked for in six weeks. So I just, I wanna get my hair a little bit healthier. And we're taking family photos right before right after my next appointment so i think i'm just going to brighten up around my face and let the back kind of grow in darker i'm thinking about getting neutrophil um hayden's calling me hey baby hey baby what's up i was just an abercrombie literally an abercrombie opened up on King Street, and I am dying to go. I cannot wait to go into that Abercrombie. That's one of the best decisions Abercrombie has made, in my opinion, putting a location on King Street. And what's so sad is it's maybe a two minute walk from my old apartment downtown. It's very tragic because now I have to come into Charleston to go to it. But you know what, maybe it is a good thing for my wallet that it wasn't here. I'm excited. We also just picked up a little boat for the flats. So hopefully we'll take it out on the like kind of um, waterway of Charleston this weekend, not the river. I'd, I'd rather be like on a little sandbar personally and it's still highs of 80s right now in Charleston and lows of 50s, 60s in the, at the night. So it's still pretty warm, but definitely getting into fall weather. So I'm hoping the water hasn't cooled off too, too much and we can still go hang out on the sandbar this weekend. And a small. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love it. the color looked really good so I just got trim I don't know if I can leave my camera there but I just got a trim on the bottoms and I got her to cut some more face framing layers and I really like how it looks I'm obsessed I did go to Abercrombie and I stopped in Aerie and I got the smoothies bras from Aerie the best bras ever if like, i'm wearing the skims like compression-y bra and i really like the like hold of it but i would wear it with a looser tee the smoothies ones from airy are perfect if you have a larger chest and you just don't want a bra to be seen under a fitted top highly recommend i think i'm gonna hold out until black friday or some other big sale that they do and really stock up on stuff and then oh the men's section in the king street abercrombie oh my god amazing literally amazing i want to dress hayden so bad i just wish that he liked the stuff that i picked out for him it's always a hit or miss he doesn't always love it sometimes he loves it oh i don't know i've been grinding my teeth so bad in my sleep that i chipped a tooth so i'm interested to see what my dentist says maybe they do master botox there but i'll ask them about it tomorrow maybe i should call them we'll see but i'm interested to see if it'll change my face shape at all because i really like that from the side you can like see i don't know so i get nervous i don't want to lose jaw definition and i don't think i will but i do like i mean i do have fuller cheeks probably because i squeeze the crap out of my teeth at night uh <laughs> i'm interested to see what the master of botox does to my face shape because i can't keep grinding my teeth at night and i just don't want to sleep with a mouthpiece because so i will Catch you guys back at the house. Me and Hayden are getting ready to go do a date night. We're going to this Italian place. That's a good little drive from the house, so hopefully it's good. But Hayden's really good at picking restaurants, so I'm excited. Um, these pants are from Halite, an online store that actually sent me these pants. I love them. I've had them for a couple years, actually. 
And this is a little Brandy Melville, cute little button up top. I am on the way to Charleston. I'm sorry if my blinker's annoying. I'm gonna turn it off. I'm on the way to Charleston. We're gonna get drinks with some friends. Um, I got my sconces installed in my guest bathroom and hopefully he'll be able to come over and install the sconces in our master bathroom in the morning. And we're gonna take out our boat for the first time. Our little maiden voyage is going to hopefully be tomorrow afternoon, but it might be, um, it might end up being Sunday. I did try out getting pink polish and the one that I wanted, she was like, oh, it's sheer, it's too sheer, you need like something that's a little bit more opaque. And I was like, okay, that's fine. I'll try that. And it literally ended up being the color of my skin. And I was on the phone with my grandpa because today is my grandparents' 60th wedding anniversary. I love them. <laughs> Mm. Now I'm just letting it thicken into a nice sauce. I added heavy cream to it. I'm obsessed with this. You can get it at Costco. But it looks pretty good. Hayden loves the butt of a loaf of bread, so he got the butt piece. Look how cute that is. I love how the white looks with the plain pine. I'm ready for this to be finished properly. See? Okay. Split hems are. It really doesn't matter what the shoe is as long as they're tall. Get Hayden some Waffle House. Yeah, how excited are you? Well, we're getting ready to take the boat out for the first time. I'm so excited. Um, I've been collecting little sweaters for the boat and this one's from Brandy and it's so cute. Um, but yeah, I probably won't video any of that because this will be the first time that we're launching the boat ourselves. But it's only a 14 foot boat. It's not gonna be that complicated. Yeah. Hey, baby. <laughs> Mijo! <laughs> oh shit, it's about to get shallow. Hey, gotta go.